Prive International, we have the sole and exclusivity for all these devices globally. All right, globally, signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs> okay, um, and um, I would like to break down the benefits, the features, and benefits of iTerra Care device uh, basically into four. All right, I know some of the other slides have been talking about five, but I just want to summarize it into four. And the first one is stem cell stimulation, right? When you blow it onto your skin, it goes into your bone, it penetrates. Wow, guess what? It's going to stimulate your stem cells. And the other one is the activation of your cells because it resonates same frequency with your body cells. It's going to charge up and energize your cells. And it's safe and it's user-friendly. So let's go through them one by one. And the first one is, as I said, the penetration. The frequency of terahertz is able to penetrate our body from 20 cm to 30 cm to reach the bone marrow so as to stimulate our body's stem cells to repair and replace the damaged cells. Now, a lot of us will be thinking, you know, um, how is it? I mean, is there any evidence to substantiate these terahertz stimulating stem cells? Well, I have actually found Right? I have actually found a research study. Let me just get it for you. From Russia. Right? Yes, it's not on uh, humans, but it's on mice. And it's pretty good. All right? It's pretty good. So this research study basically is June 2020. So it's fairly recent, fairly new. All right? And most of the scientists, all right, if I can just uh, move this aside, they are from, they are from the Russian Academy of Sciences. Look at them. They are most of them from Russian Academy of Sciences. And this Russian Academy of Sciences, they are not small. They are more than 100,000 employees and about 50,000 scientists, all right? They are huge. Now, uh, I'll just stop share this for a while. I just want to say this, all right, with all due respect to Big Pharma, when you um, do a human clinical trial, there must be some kind of reward to the company, right? So the Big Pharma, they will register the drug and then they will do a clinical test because they will probably spend more than maybe tens of billions, right? And then when they get the clinical trial, they have already patented the drug. So they get back their reward, right? You know? But if you want to... Uh, do clinical trials or do you know research on human trial they're very expensive so that's why you don't see a lot on food supplements you don't see a lot on things like terahertz i mean why do you want to show something on terahertz right and it's something that um yeah unlike a drug that you can patent and get back the roi on your investment but then uh as I said also before, uh, there is a Russian war with Ukraine. And so Russian is not exactly popular right now, but we can never deny that Russian science is very good. Am I right? Russian science is very good. So this is what um, the report right, uh, has actually shown. So here, effects of terahertz radiation on living cells, a review. And in this review, I'll just quickly go through to the relevant one, which is on stem cells, because that's what I want to show. And effects of terahertz radiation on stem cells. It was shown that exposure to ultra broadband pulse terahertz radiation with a mean intensity of duration nine hours promoted differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells. Okay, so what this means, guys, is that mesenchymal stem cells we have cells in our body, right? And, and mesenchymal stem cells, if I use the human, it's like in our fat, right? A bit of liposuction, you take it out and then you differentiate, you separate the stem cells and you uh, separate the rest and then you freeze it and then you inject into your organ and then uh, it will help to repair and uh, replace damaged cells in those particular organs. So this is the differentiation. That means stem cells are undifferentiated. They have no specific function until it goes to that particular organ, then it becomes differentiated. And if you look carefully at the words being said here, it says here that it promoted 
differentiation. All right. So I don't mince my words and please read it. And the good thing is that uh, legally trained, you know, I was trained from Monash, Australia as a, as a, as a lawyer. And um, we look at words, we look at, you know, words very carefully. And here, this is exactly what it says. On the mice, it promoted differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells. Guys, this is huge. Yes, there's no human clinical trials. Yes, I take that, all right? But to test it on mice by an, a very famous Russian Academy of Science to prove that stem cells can actually right, differentiate um, mice stem cells. I mean, terahertz, sorry, can actually you know, blow and uh, differentiate mice stem cells. That is huge. That is amazing.